Hello everyone. So I was thinking about for today using some of this rustic looking pieces here. Maybe make a couple like coin envelope type things. I don't know. I always think of reds when I'm thinking of a journal that has to do with that and browns. So I was thinking something like this. Let's use my Cricut one that has issues. We're going to use some 6x6 six six paper here. Ooh, fell right back on me. There we go. Make some coin envelopes, I think, for this journal. I'm not sure if they're going to be the greatest, but that's okay. It doesn't always have to be magnificent. Goopers on it. All right. Figured art glitter glue is probably the best in this situation to use to keep it closed. And this part I'm just going to use my little corner piece here. Then I know all four corners are exactly the same size without doing too much work with it. So I mean, this is a great way to have your corners the exact same size and not have to worry too much with your pieces, how it's going to work. And then we want to close the one side of it. So the perfect little coin envelope. Let's make one more at least. And then we'll get to decorating these, I think. All right. <laughs> Still making the coin envelope here.
I'll be taking my card again here and cutting my four corners out. I started watching again I probably watched this movie about a million times but I still love it every single time I watch it and find it very interesting it's called Merlin and it was made by the sci-fi channel in 1998 so it's rather difficult to find but they have it free on Roku TV so I've been watching that off and on Isn't this so fun and easy? Oh, I love it. I love just being able to make these simple little coin envelopes. Nothing extravagant about them. They're just simple to make. Coin envelopes. Now let's see if I can find my needle that I bent. I just don't want to dig out the other, or the little needle things to replace that needle. <laughs> All right, there we go, them two. That can be used for stamping. use these white pieces for stamping or gluing whatever you decide you want to do it's just a good idea to have pieces for that type of thing There we go. Now what do I want to use there? Got that piece. There's some more white paper. Just looking to see what's all here. All right. Get that out of the way. I'm just getting all the white out of the way now. Pull out all the white pieces out. Now I'm thinking. That would be cute on one of them so that will do and this one maybe not that 
right here. Yeah, that's all it needed. It looks like maybe add a little something around it. And let's see what else we can find here. Something itty bitty. We could add the clock there. Let's see. I like this. Is that too... No, I like it. We'll add that. Then I'm wondering if a label would be good there, but <coughs> I don't really want to label label. We're just gonna get these as straight as we can. that be cute as a label? I think so. Alright, now I need my punch here. Now I want it to have something around it just to make it look more label like. Make a full label here. And voila, we got a cute little label right there. Perfect. 
her little envelope here. All right. Now this one, I kind of want to distress it. It just looks too blah to me, so I might be distressing a lot of this stuff. Just rough it up a little. And this one actually has a little name on it, which is fine. I'd prefer it that way anyways. Rough it up a little. This piece, I, I don't know. I'm unsure. kind of like this piece too. So I'm thinking I know it's so strange I'm doing it this way but this corner here and that corner there yes I like it that way. Alright. Kind of came out a little clumpy there, but that's okay. As long as it's clumping on my paper, we're good. No. Do I want this up here, or do I want it right here? I like it better up here. It says, we do not remember the days, we m remember the moments. It's totally true. Now, I want to do something with these, but I'm not sure what. It's like a piece of fabric or something. Just glue that would fold over. Let's see what I have here. Pieces of fabric that would be easily folded over. Not sure. Sure, I'm pretty sure I have that one piece kind of fabric here though. That would work for that. And the fabric I'm thinking of. Oh, it's right there. Right here. That would be just fun to add and have it go over. Give it a bit of added strength.
yeah, it just gives it that added strength and everything. I really like adding that to there because it just gives it a little something something. That's for sure. <coughs> I should just keep this tipped over when I know I'm going to be using it. Sometimes I shake when I'm doing this. I don't try to, but I do. All the same. Yeah, it just gives it an extra little look, adding that itty bitty bit to it. All right, so now that these two are done, we've got these two to add to our journal. And these I'm planning on not being like coin envelopes that you stick in. That's the reason why I only decorated the part that opens. This part I did not decorate. I did strengthen this with a little bit of fabric, but what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna make these into tuck spots. So, there we go. Nice little cute coin envelopes, and you can do this with any of your projects, I'm sure. Enjoy the rest of your day, and also check out my Etsy store, My Hope Craft Shop on Etsy. Bye!